concept of elapsed time is not at all that complicated. Something starts, something ends. How long does it take? That's the elapsed time. The, the concept is relatively simple, but sometimes, sometimes the math is more difficult. Particularly when we start getting into minutes and seconds and things like that, rather than just something that happens uh, on a stopwatch for some number of seconds. So I'm going to quickly try to go through some of the math to, to do these things, and um, hopefully this will make it, make it clear and, and easy to understand. So the first thing is the formula for elapsed time. Um, you should use the, the, the variable t for time, and the time, the elapsed time, the time that passes, how long does it take? That's how long, that's what was the time when it ended minus the time when it began. So it's t sub f minus t sub i. Sometimes uh, you'll, you'll use time intervals, you'll use uh, subscripts like one and two. So it would be second time or third time minus time, the first time. And in some cases, you'll see time, the initial time, before as t sub 0 and t sub 1, or t sub 0 and t sub f. We're going to use initial and final um, most of the time. And through these examples, we'll use initial and final. So the, the final time on the stopwatch is 25. The initial time on the stopwatch was 0. The elapsed time was, surprise, 25. However, if you're doing something like lap times, for example, in track or, for example, uh, auto racing or something like that, where the race has been going on for three and a half minutes and you, you take a, a lap time and you get, you know, three and a half, and they run another lap and it ends at, at four and a quarter, you know, 4.445, uh, then you have to subtract the initial and the final. So let's do that as an example of minutes and, and time. Uh, minutes, seconds uh, in, in this elapsed time thing. So we're going to say we're going to say that the the final time is four minutes and fifteen seconds. So that would be the the race ended, the fourth lap ended at four minutes and fifteen seconds, and the fourth lap began at three minutes and 27 seconds. So our elapsed time is going to be the final time minus the initial time. So 415 minus 327. I'm going to write it as a vertical subtraction. Uh, so I'm going to do 415 minus 327. Now, before I do this one, I'm going to do a, 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 more, uh, a more simple one. I'll just say 327 was the, you know, what that, that time. We'll use that over again. The end of the third lap, let's say the third lap began at 215. All right, subtracting, you got 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 1. So it was a 1 minute, 12 second lap. That was easy because there was no borrowing involved. In this case, in, in the case that we're trying to do, we have 5 minus 7 and 1 minus 2. We're going to have to borrow. We're going to have to borrow twice. So in order to do 5 minus 7, we have to borrow from the 1. That becomes a 0. And so we have 15 minus 7 is 8. 0 minus 2 we can't do. Now here's where elapsed time calculation is, uh, is different and tricky. We have to borrow across the colon. These are seconds and these are minutes. Now when we borrow in regular math, we borrow from the next place over. So if we borrow from the 100's place, we take 1 over and add it to whatever is in the 10's place. We, we take 10 10's over into the 10's place. We're taking a minute off of here. This is going to be a really fast lap, by the way. We take a minute off of here, and we have to take 60 seconds over. So we're going to take the 6 off of the 60 seconds, and we're going to put it here. The 0 becomes a 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. 
We have no minutes and 48 seconds. Now this this last lap, if this were if this were uh, the 400 meter relay or something like that, that's crazy. But it's math. The math is the same. Doing math with across the colon, we have to take six out of the minutes and move it over into the second. So let's do another example, uh, borrowing minutes across the colon. And, and we'll, we'll start off by writing in what's given. Right now, T sub F is um, 5 minutes and 36 seconds. And we'll say that T sub I is 3 minutes and 51 seconds. So now... The steps for solving any math problem ever is write down what's given, write down the relevant formula, and then plug in and solve. So step two would be to write down the relevant formula, which is T equals T sub F minus T sub I. Plug in what you've got. So T equals T equals 536 minus 351. I'm going to do the vertical subtraction again. Uh, 536 minus 351. 6 minus 1 is 5. Now I've got to borrow. I've got to borrow across the 5. So the 5 becomes a 4. And 6 comes across and adds to the 3. The 6 is going to add to the 3. Now, when we borrow decimals, we bring 10 across. That means we stick a 1 out in front of the whatever the thing is. But when we're borrowing here, we're bringing 6 10 seconds across. So this is the 10 second column. We're bringing 6 10 seconds across. So the 3 doesn't become a 13. It becomes a 9. And 9 minus 5 is 4. And 4 minus 1 now is, is 1. So we brought six, ten, 6 10 seconds across the colon. The 3 becomes a 9 because that was 3 tens. And this is 6, you know, this is 6 ones, 3 tens. So if I bring 6, six tens across, it becomes 9 tens, 9 sets of 10 seconds. We bring the 6 across. We add it to the number here. So that's it. That's, that's how you do uh, calculations of elapsed time. You, you take the, the hours and the minutes or the minutes and the seconds. Sub seconds will, will subtract from seconds, but if you have to borrow, you have to borrow across that colon, and you have to borrow six sets of 10. So if you have 32 seconds and you need to borrow, then you're going to bring six across, and it's going to become 92 minus whatever you have, 54. That's it. Um, it's, it's a fundamental concept in physics, and we're going to pick it up in a, in a second video on how to do clock time, where you're going to have AMs and PMs, or whatever you're going to have uh, with hours, minutes, seconds, and maybe fractions of a second there as well. So we'll pick, the, pick up the clock time calculations in another video, but for this video, we're done. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope it, it's helpful. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you did, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next episode.